Greetings and welcome to Sexual Stories number 10. It's the Larry Kings of sexual experiences. The only three fucking studs equipped and verified to discuss sexual topics here in the YouTube Call of Duty community. Because everybody else is a fucking dork. Just joking. Ha ha ha. I made thoughts the man with the cock of gold. Hello. My name is Simple Minds. And my wife sat on my face for my birthday. Go fuck yourselves, YouTube. Ladies and genitals, it is your BFF six pound soft, but y'all know me as Dildo Space Boots. Space Boots, Space Boots, Space Boots, Space Boots. Sexy time. X O X O. All right, cock smokers and vagina lickers and dildo penetrators out there. Sexual Stories, episode number 10. It's the three fucking hosts with the most of Larry King's of sexual experiences and stories for you guys and you little rubber cocky motherfuckers out there. Enough bullshit. Jumping right into it. How you fucking guys doing, Jeff John? Good, man. Fantastic. Awesome. High fives all around. Circle jerk of awesomeness. Okay, enough bullshit. On with the fucking stories. My story is this. A girlfriend I had a little while ago. Uh, we were together maybe about three months. She was a hot little piece of ass. A nice little tight vagina. Well trimmed with a fucking eight shaved in her pubic hair to fucking represent eight thoughts. Always. Even at the <laughs> sauna. And uh, anyways. So we were going out for a few months. And I guess, you know, the fucking relationship progressed. And as relationships progress, eventually you've got to go and meet the fucking in-laws. And uh, anyone in Canada or British Columbia, Americans, I don't probably expect you to know this, but Canadians should know this. If you're in Canada, you don't know this and you're a fucking remedial retard you need to go back to class but this is not a geography lesson this is eight thoughts sexual story went to vancouver island uh, to meet her parents and uh, you know upon entering the house and talking with the family it came under uh, under noticing if that makes any fucking sense that uh, we were gonna have to have separate bedrooms because her parents said we weren't married and we weren't able to you know be in the same bedroom because they know that eight thoughts of sexual beast would be fucking that little tight anus and vagina from behind and the dad doesn't want that under his roof so you know we're in separate bedrooms and I wasn't gonna be sneaking into her bedroom in the middle of the night, uh, you know, to disrespect the family. I wanted to, didn't want to be a total cock smoker. And the actual real truth is this, as we discussed earlier: I'm six six, two hundred thirty pounds, hardwood floors, and eight thoughts don't mix because I'm a big fucking steroided out beast. And, <laughs> <laughs> and the fucking That's floor would the show. floor would creak and crack, and I'd get busted. But anyways, so uh, you know, after a few days of staying at the house, being a young stud and a, a young female, you know, it happens you get horny, and we you know we don't walk and looking for you know just to fuck around, maybe make out. And, and this place we were visiting was on Vancouver Island. It's called Campbell River, if anybody knows. And there's like a walkway along the ocean that's it, unlit. And, you know, late at night, it's pretty empty. There's some park benches there. Nice view of the ocean. Beautiful fucking scenery. Summertime. Birds are singing. Well, they don't sing at nighttime. And we sat down on the fucking park bench. And one thing or another, she's wearing a skirt. No panties. I'm wearing jeans. And I whipped out the fucking... No panties. No panties. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> this evening, there was no panties. So I whipped, out, I whipped out the fucking cock of gold. And she basically just sat on top of me and was fucking, you know, sort of riding me. And it's dark and, you know, it's a wide open park. So when people are walking, there's a few people now and then, you know, enjoying the evening breeze as well. And they'd walk by and we just stop. And it looks like she's just a girl sitting on my lap on a park bench. Nothing out of the ordinary. So we're getting our fucky fuck on. The stinking the vagina. The stinky dinky. Not that she had a stinky vagina. That sounded weird. She was a bit of a slut yeah. nonetheless. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so we're getting it on. And, uh. She's uh, riding the cock, and people walk by. We stop, like I said, and then you know we see a couple in the distance. After going for a while, they're getting closer, and uh, as they get closer and closer, I was like, "Holy fucking shit! It's this girl's fucking parents out walking, enjoying the evening as well." And they walk up on us, and you know I'm sitting there with her fucking parents right in front of us with my cock inside their daughter's vagina, which is a bit awkward, and uh, unless you're a fucking sexual weirdo, John Jeff, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'd be awkward. <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah, it was a bit awkward. awkward. Yeah, it was kind of awkward. You know, being a sexual freak, though, it was, it was kind of cool, too. And I'm sitting there basically with my penis inside their daughter's vagina, and they're talking to us. I'm just trying to keep a normal face. And what weird this fucking thing was, before they showed up, I was pretty close to busting a nut. And because this girl's, as I said, had a stinky vagina, un, un accidentally, accidentally, and um, so she starts sitting there, and I forget the word. She starts, like, flexing her fucking vagina muscles while I'm inside Cables. of her. Kegel that's, exercises. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's doing that shit. And she's like flexing her vagina while I'm inside of her. And I was already close to button, busting a nut. So that was just fucking just enough. And it sent me fucking over the edge. And it was really weird. I'm trying not to, but her parents are there. And, you know, you, you can't do help it. And I'm like, you know, sitting there while their parents are talking to us. I'm like, fucking, my face is turning red. And I got a fucking vein popping out. And I'm like, oh, yeah, nice, yeah, it's great evening. <laughs> uh, oh. and I'm like, yeah. And their parents are looking at me like, what the fuck? I'm like, oh, yeah. You know, like, and I'm trying to just do my best to defer the conversation away from me into them. I'm like, oh. So 
anyways, I guess nothing was noticed. And eventually, you know, they walk away. Like, have a good evening. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. And uh, it was. Oh, a they fucking, knew, Ben. You, you, they think, knew. you think they knew I busted a nut inside their daughter's <laughs> vagina while they're sitting and talk to us? <laughs> you going cross-eyed? Yeah. <laughs> the only way you could have made it more obvious if you would have looked at her dad after you busted and said, hey, can I bum a stove? <laughs> <laughs> so, they <yeah>. knew. <laughs> Anyways, that's the weird shit. I, uh, I, I busted a load, a mighty big one, if I don't mind saying so myself, inside their daughter, of uh, right in front of the parents. Sexual stories. High five. High five. I like, I like it. Hold on, yeah. wait. And wait, don't wait. don't kid yourself, Ben. Everybody walking by knew what y'all were up to. <laughs> you, think, you think people knew what was going on? Oh, yeah. yeah All right, dude. fuck it. All right, whatever. I'm always suspect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jeff, All right. Jeff, you going to bust a fucking 360 double eye no scope sexual reach around story for us? Ladder stall on top of it. Yeah, here we go. Um, this was um, the second girl I've ever had sex with, so... You guys, I don't know if you guys would agree with me, but to me, when you're used to one vagina and you go to another vagina, I think the love canal feels a little bit different. Um, I agree, disagree. Okay, no, well, it does. It does. I feel. So. Yeah, really? maybe, you know. Well, I got a long dick, and it goes all the way in the uterus. So if she's got a tilted uterus or something, maybe that was it. But anyways, that's beside the point. Wait, did you say you had a long dick? Is it like a pencil dick where you have no girth, or what's up? No, I'm just kidding. And I, that was I'm, past tense. You said you had a long dick. What happened, Jeff? Do what? You said, you said I had a long dick as if it was like not long anymore. You had a fucking a fucking zipper malfunction. That's right. You know, cut the dick off. I didn't tell you about my accident, did I? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, uh, no, I'm not saying I got a big dick or anything. But, yeah, to me, a vagina, and when you're fucking a new vagina, when you used to one for uh, another time, it feels a little bit different, okay? I was young. wasn't like a sexual beast. But here's a story. I'll make it quick as possible for all you young, fine, sexy motherfuckers out there listening to this shit. Um, so, uh, my first year of college, my dad moved and it was over the summer and there was this little cute little bitty that lived down the street and, uh, she was a year younger than me. I was 19. She was 18. A little blonde baby. And, uh, we, we kind of exchanged some looks here and there. She'd drive through the neighborhood and, you know, she'd see me out there watching my truck, my beeper on my hip dog, you know what I'm saying? And I, I would just shoot her the, Hey, what's up? Look, and one day we got to talking. She was out walking her fucking stepmom and her dad's dog and we were just bullshitting. And we kind of, you know, there was a spark. There was some electricity there. And uh, I knew some stuff would go down. So we hung out one night, and we did some stuff. So we kind of figured, oh, we kind of like each other. So that following weekend, my dad's out of town, so she comes over on a Friday. And um, we're messing we're messing around on the couch, you know. I'm, I'm fucking eating her out, finger banging her, just blasting the shit out of her hooch. She's fucking going to town on me, jerking me off, sucking me off, you know, whatever. We've got her titties out. It's just, it's a, it's all on free for all in my fucking living room, my house. So she kind of looks at me, gives me a look and I know we're about to fuck. I'm kind of nervous. So we go into my bedroom and I'm like, I don't have any condoms. And she's like, oh, that's okay. I'm on birth control. I was like, okay, well, they're not worried about STDs here. So let's start fucking. So I slip it in and God damn it. It was like the first time having sex. <laughs> I came, I got maybe 12 to 13 pumps out of it and I, I blew it all over her, all over my sheets, all over her chest. It went everywhere. It was a massive load because she'd been building me up, sucking me off. It was just, it was a lot, okay? I, I, would, I would interject here. Isn't it awesome when you fucking pull out your cock and bust a massive load all over a girl? You're like, yeah, bitch, there's my fucking sex stamp. Yeah, Slut. dude. I think, I, no, I, I like filling a girl up. I like to see that cream pie and all your fucking man juices dripping no, no, out no, no, of her. No, that, that, has, that has the positives too, John. I'm just saying, like, like you know, could be all like, guys. We all bust nut differently. I'll make it real quick here, but you all bust nut differently. But you know, sometimes you have more fucking super sex semen than usual. But it's nice yeah. to know, like, so I love that fucking time when you bust a nut. And it's just like a fucking Peter yeah, North, get, Peter North yeah. nut bust. Yeah, if you can give a girl a fountain of youth all over him, dude. If you got a like an 18 roper, let it out on her, dude. I love Somewhere. it. Do it. All right, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry, Jeff. No, it's good, man. So this, I and mean, that's not even the embarrassing part of the story. I mean, it was embarrassing for me. She looked disappointed. I mean, she was like, "God damn it!" And she even, I think, she might have said, "Really?" Like I was like, "God damn it!" <laughs> she gets her clothes and she goes home. She doesn't stay the night. So the next day, I decide I'm gonna, I'm gonna take her out to dinner and stuff. You know, being the stud I am, I'll take this girl to dinner now. She gave up the fucking puss. No, that's not the way it happened. But anyways, so I go to the door. Yeah, well, I don't know what you're doing. Once you have the puss, you, if you had to defeat the purpose of having to take her out for dinner, it's a fucking win-win situation. You move on to the next biatch. No, I wanted to redeem myself and need oh, to get okay. inside that carnival one more time. So anyways, I, I go pick her up, and um, her stepmom answers the door. Well, I did not know this apparently, but her stepmom just starts busting my fucking balls. She's like, what's up, Minute Man? 
And I kind of sit there for a second. I'm like, oh, my fucking God. No, you just not. And I start turning red, and out comes this chick. I'm not going to say her name. And her and her stepmom apparently have this big sexual relationship where they can just tell every everything to each other at the age of 18. She's telling her stepmom that I basically sucked in bed and I uh, didn't last long. And so her mom, her stepmom, just starts busting my balls and making jokes like, I mean, I got to give her stepmom credit just fucking off the chain, just coming at me. She's Was she hot? Uh, yeah, her stepmom was actually pretty hot, too. Oh. And uh, she tells me... Swingers, I love them. She goes, you know what? Maybe if y'all have kids, they can have t-shirts that say Minute Maid on them. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, fuck me. And I'm just sitting there, I'm turning, I'm getting embarrassed. She's like, okay, that's enough, that's enough. We're going to dinner. And so we get in the car, and I'm just like, really? You, you talked to your stepmom about everything? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, what, you told her I fucking sucked at, you know, I fucking suck at fucking? She's like, yeah, it was pretty bad. But I was fucking, I, right there, I would just fucking dropped her off the side of the road and just called. I mean, I, yeah, that's some balls of brass, buddy. I mean, I would have been so embarrassed. I'm like, fuck it, I'm going home. No, dude, I re- I'm, a, I'm a man. Uh, I pursue, and uh, guess what? I redeem myself, and I was able to last much longer and sack with her at many times that I had sex with her. And this is also the same girl, guys, if you go back to my one of my other sexual rights, this is a girl that took it in the butt. So Nice. Classic. Nice. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, hey, I, I, I for a second there, I mean, I will take a simple minds uh, thing, and I will give you a slow clap, but with my forehead. <laughs> Excellent job, Jeff. <laughs> that was classy, Jeff. Well, I had an awkward situation too. A lot of my subs have asked me because everyone knows on this channel that I'm uncut. I'm uncircumcised. I got an ant eater penis. Weirdo. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways. And people are like, have you ever had an awkward situation where a girl has never seen an uncut penis before? And yes, this one girl, this Jewish girl, by the way, she had a beak that could pick bird seeds out of a Dixie cup. Hot. And her, yes, very classy. And her brother dropped her off at my place. He had to run some errands, and we had about an hour. So she told me to drop my pants, and she wanted to fuck around with my penis. Well, I did so, and immediately she gives me this weird look and like, what is that? I'm like, it's my dick. And, she was, <laughs> and she's like, no, I understand it's your dick, but what is that extra skin? I'm like, well, I'm uncircumcised. And she's never seen an uncircumcised penis before. And she looks so grossed out by it. But she started playing with it, and it felt horrible. She was pulling it way too hard. My, it felt like she was going to rip the foreskin right off my penis. So I went ahead. Yeah. I went ahead. I started Fucking jerking my Jewish bitches. They don't know what the fuck they're doing, man. My penis is obviously not kosher. Anyways. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I start jerking off. I blow my load on her tits. And that was the end of that. But really quick, guys. Um, my wife has never seen an uncircumcised penis before either. And the first time we had sex, she actually felt the foreskin going in and out. And she said it stimulated her even more. So you guys that are uncut, hey, don't be ashamed. Stick that fucking beautiful hog in that fucking vagina. They love that shit. Trust me, pimp. Well, you got a beautiful cock anyways. You bedazzled it anyways with that goddamn Cindy Crawford beauty mark on it anyway. So. I, I do have a beauty mark on the head of my penis. It is beautiful. I'm going to see, I'm gonna have to see this. Whatever one. it takes, John, to give yourself <laughs> self-esteem, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my slow clap, Ben? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm going to slow clap the cock of gold just because, you know, you need all the... Here we go. <laughs> there you, you go. Start, you should start talking like Snuffleupagus. goes, hey, bird. <laughs> you should change your channel from Simple Minds to Simple Snuffleupagus. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Uh, That's a funny joke. Change your channel to thanks, Snuffleupagus. Do that. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks. And make sure you put lots of X's and Z's in it. <laughs> All right, motherfucker. All right, man. Sexual Stories, episode number 10. Before we go... Uh, this fucking sexual channel stories is going to be fucking evolving and changing because we are the Larry Kings. We are the fucking only bona fide and verified sexual beasts here in this retarded COD community, excluding a few people. And most of them are in this fucking COD community talk right now, if that made any fucking sense. Don't drink and talk. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. It doesn't fucking mix either way. Anyways, but guys, seriously, if you have, we're going to change things up here. Not change things, but we're going to evolve and add more. So if you're a person out there who's a Call of Duty or whatever, a fucking community or whatever, a fucking commentator, <laughs> Jesus H. Christ and the fucking rubber crutch. You're a guy that's a community? <laughs> yeah. You know, if you're in the gay community, it doesn't matter. Whatever community you're in, just fucking, you know, whatever. If you want to be involved... You want to fucking, you know, have a story or have an idea. If you have a fucking sexual question, we'll keep you anonymous as not to embarrass you, no matter how fucking stupid or how homosexual it is or whatever it may be. Send me a message on my fucking YouTube channel with the fucking head topic as sexual story. 
We'll fucking answer it. Also be warned, if you're a fucking retard and your story sucks, prepare to get your shit pushed in and made fun of because we don't fuck around. Anyways, I'm eight thoughts. Y'all be cool. Stay in school. Stay on drugs. Look for play for Cross the Street. Stay black. Don't let the white man bring you down. Peace and love. I love you all. XO, XO, XO. That's right, Jeff. We can't fucking hear you because you got that shitty internet connection with that black eye on your roof <laughs> holding the fucking umbrella with a tinfoil to get that fucking Wi-Fi. Get on our level, John. <laughs> He's not black, but GYFB. All right, Mexican. Waste, waste hug, mouth open. I love you all, homo intended. Go fuck yourselves, YouTube. All right, y'all. Sexual stories. Send some fucking messages. Get involved. Peace out.